American Automotive has finally been announced. Let's get into everything you need to know about the entire update. There's a new car pack in the update, and if you want a chance to win a free code for the car pack, make sure to comment your gamer tag and then subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll pick four or five commenters to win an American car pack code. Let's start with the festival playlist, which has eight new cars from this entire month. For the full series, for 80 points, you can get the Cadillac CT4, and for 160 points, you can get the Ford F-150 from 1986. Those are not new cars. On to summer, which is the first week. Now, there are two new cars in every single week. For 20 points on summer, you can get the first new car, the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 from 2023, in which I have a little bit of gameplay of in the background that I will play. For 40 points, you can get the next new car, the 1964 Plymouth, however you pronounce that word. I'm not even going to attempt it. Those are the two new cars for summer. Let's take a listen to what the Corvette Chevrolet Z06 sounds like as... We all like some good car sounds, don't we? Quick 10 second clip. The Forzathon shop for that first week has the Venom GT, the Dodge Challenger, USA Race Gloves and the classic Running Man emote. It seems like all the Forzathon shops this week are all American stuff, which makes sense for American Automotive. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Autumn, which is the second week. For 20 points, you can get the 1966 Chevrolet Nova Super Sport, and for 40 points, the 1968 Pontiac Firebird. Those are both brand new cars. For the Forzathon shop, you can get the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck, Deberti Design Chevrolet Silverado, Pencil Dress, and Thumbs Up Emote. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. The third week, which is winter. For 20 points, you can get the fifth new car, the 2024 Lucid Air Sapphire. I've got a little bit of gameplay as this as well. This is a car that was leaked a couple of weeks ago. We spoke about it and we were right. It was coming to the game. 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge is the car that you can get for 40 points on that third week. That is the sixth new car from the festival playlist. Before we move to the Forzathon shop, let's see what the Lucid Air sounds like. I'm not expecting it to be anything special because it is Forzathon shop has the RTR Ford Mustang, the MT900 Mosler, the Lion Helmet and a Falling Car Horn. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third, third week. Fourth and final week, which is spring, for 20 points, the seventh new car, the 2010 Rossian Q1, and for 40 points, the 1962 Lincoln Continental. The Forzathon shop for that fourth week has the Ford F-150 from 2014, the Ford RS200, Doodle Jumper Jacket, and Jump On It Emote. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth week. So those are the eight new cars in the festival playlist. Let's talk about the car pack, which has four new cars. You can buy this for $4.99 or presumably four pounds. The four cars are the 2017 Saleem S7 LM. We've been predicting that this car will add to the game. And once again, we were right with this. The 1961 Deberti Ford Econoline Shop Rod, not a car I expected to be added, but nevertheless, it's in this car pack. The 2020 Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss and the 2024 Zinger? I don't actually know how you say that. 21C. This is the car I actually have a little bit of gameplay of, so I'll roll this in the background. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'll be giving away some codes for this car pack, so if you want a chance to win that, do what I said at the beginning of the video. Now, as I've got some gameplay of this car, let's see what it sounds like. It's short. I think it has like 1,340 horsepower or something stupid, so let's see what it sounds like, shall we?
it seems like car packs are becoming a much more common thing now, which I'm not against. The game has been out for two years now and they have had no paid DLC since the expansions. So car packs, I, I understand, they need a little bit of revenue. We have some new customization. We have new rims from HRE, I believe. I do actually have a graphic to show you of all of the rims that have been added. There's some quite nice ones there. There must be tons of rims in the game now. They've added quite a few bundles of like 30, 40 rims. Very impressive. So we also have some new body kits as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any screenshots of those, but they are for the 1987 Pontiac Fiber Trans AM GTA, the Ford, G Ford Shelby GT350R, I hope that one looks good, and the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 from 2017. Three new body kits and a load of new rims for customization. Now with this update, we've had a bit of evolving world. The oval track is returning. Again, some more gameplay of the oval track. It was the high performance update. I think the first update this track was in. Now we have it again for the American Automotive. Now we also have some new races. Now they are road races or road race routes. They are permanent and some new accolades as well, all to do with completing these race routes as we can expect. Now I, again, I do have a graphic for once that actually shows these race routes. So these are the four that have been added. The Aerodrome Sprint looks like a quite a good one. Looks very fast paced. So yeah, four new permanent road racing sprint routes coming to the game. Now we have a new Horizon Story feature. ASL and BSL is now in every Horizon Story, which is sign language in the Donut Media and the Icons of Speed Horizon Story chapters, which were the only stories that were left that didn't have that in. It is now in every Horizon Story, so fantastic. We are also seeing the return of the Golden Tank Awards. Now you may remember it was last year now, I think where they rewarded people for the best creations in Forza Horizon 5. There'll be prizes for this. You can have Event Lab Creation of the Year, Most Creative Event, Best Photo Location, Best Prefab, Best Event Island Event, and Best Race Event. So they're mostly Event Lab stuff. You will get real life prizes for competing in these, and if you win, the winners will be declared in late January. So it's a couple of months away, so you've got a lot of time to work on this. But yeah, Golden Tank Rewards are returning. Now, the bugs and fixes, there are some highlighted bugs and fixes as usual. We will have the full changelog in a video in a couple of days' time, as they do not always show the full changelog here, just the highlighted ones. Now, one last thing, the event lab of the month. I have a bit of gameplay of it here. I'll just let it roll. It's not a bad update overall. A few things we actually predicted. The Lucid Air we spoke about a couple of weeks ago when the files were leaked. We were correct about that being added. The Celine S7 LM, along with the Ford Econoline that are in the car pack, or two cars that we also saw a few weeks ago in the files so make sure to subscribe if you want a bit of a heads up sometimes on things that are being added as we do sometimes manage to figure it out cheekily a bit cheeky isn't it that's american automotive let me know what you think in the comment section below and i'll see you all later